Hello and welcome back to Boss Logs, everyone. Uh, in the past few episodes, we've been knocking out quite a few bosses, but they've all been, you know, fairly easy ones. Uh, this episode, we're going to head towards to killing uh, Vorkath. He's significantly harder than any of the other bosses we've been doing, but that's okay, this is what he counts about. Um, before we can kill Vorkath, we need to do Dragon Slayer Part 2, of course. Before we can do Dragon Slayer Part 2, we need to knock out Tale of Two Cats, that's what we're doing now. And we also need to do Dream Mentor. Um... On doing Dragon Slayer Part 2 and killing Vorkath will actually unlock quite a few upgrades for us, melee and range upgrades, so I'm very excited for that. I'm also excited to, to really get into the big money-making bosses, you know, that being Vorkath, Zelra, and the Phantom Musfa. Um, so it should be an exciting episode. Uh, we're just going to finish off this quest and head towards Dragon Slayer Part 2. Lovely jubbly. That's Tale of Two Cats finished. Cute little quest there. On with Dream Mentor. Don't mind me, just taking a minute to finish up our 100th Spory kill. Don't mind me, just finishing up the 100th Spory kill. It's a long time coming, I've actually been sitting on this uh, 100th kill for a while now. Um, I'm going to flash up on screen the loot that we've gotten, but it's really been nothing too impressive, to be honest. Um, we did manage to get two buckets in total, I believe. Um, a couple of dragon fruit tree seeds. Yeah, nothing too amazing. Um, I, it, it, we did only record uh, 94 kills, that's because I did 6 on mobile. That's okay, it happens. Um, I didn't actually love this boss. I don't like the fact that it's a farming boss, but you kill it with combat. I don't know. That just always felt a little bit jarring to me, but it's done now. And the best part of the boss was all the uh, farming experience we got. Well over a million experience from those hundred kills. So that was, that was quite nice. All right, on with uh, Dream Mentor. So between episodes, I did actually get the uh, level 73 agility requirement I wanted for the, uh, the, the Stony Basalt Teleport to the top of Troll Stronghold. I'm also been training a little bit of magic, uh, just casting a uh, 10 leather spell. I'm slowly getting that up like I wanted to. Um, ignore my monk root bottoms, I, I, I stored my, my mystic root bottoms for a uh, clue scroll and I didn't get it back, so... You know, magic in monk robes, it's fine. Also, if you are enjoying the episode, feel free to leave a like and a subscribe. Um, it certainly does help my motivation, so it is much appreciated if you do do it. And just like that dream mentor done, um, I do actually really enjoy that quest, it's just a cute little one. Also got an experience lamp. Um, I think I might just whack that on strength, probably. But there's a lot of dialogue for this lamp. Um, can't do it attack or prayer, so strength it is. Lovely. Uh, on to Dragon Slayer Part 2, I guess. I think that's going to be the big uh, first big Grandmaster quest that we do on the account. That's quite exciting. So for Dragon Slayer Part 2, we need to collect three pieces of key. First part's coming from Robert the Strong here, who claps cheeks. Um, get it from several parts. Uh, there's a maze we've got to do later. We've got to kill uh, Vorkath, quest version of Vorkath. Oh, got to run from that. Um, pretty fun quest. I do actually enjoy it quite a lot. We're also doing it with a dragon maze because I don't have a better crush weapon. I sold the bludgeon after I killed Zarakness. But you know what? It is what it is. And there's... Oh! 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 Whew. Lift with one health. As we're the strong down. Uh, onto the next piece. Lovely. I said he gives key pieces. Uh, I think Rob just gives you the flashback that tells you you need the key pieces. But it's cool anyway, it's a cool quest, it's very cinematic. I'm still just absolutely shook I left with one health, but... Whew, it's all you need, right? Alrighty, here we are for our trial run of Vorkath. It's only the quest version, so it's only about half as strong. Um, but this will be the rough setup that we're going to go with. Uh, when we do it, we will get a Bender's God Sword and a couple of gear upgrades. I'm sick of seeing the Arch Helm. We'll give this go. Fingers crossed it's been a long time since I've done this fight, but you know what? Should be fun. Let's get to it. So I actually feel like a bit of a goose. We don't. We didn't actually bring the right runes for uh, Crumble Undead, so we're just going to need to tank the spawn. But you know what? It is what it is. We'll get through it. And there's our first Vorkath done. Again, it is just a quest one, so it won't count. But that wasn't too bad. We did actually have to tell you because, uh, yeah, the spawns were just hurting a bit too bad after I, I tanked like three. Um, uh, sorry, I sorted that out. I'm actually pretty excited to do that as a boss. It's, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be quite fun. So I'm keen. That's the Crime Shaman Maze done. Uh, actually, wasn't as bad as I remember it being, so that's quite nice. And here we are making our fancy little key. There we go. Oh, yes, can unlock this door now. Oh, and through our actions, we awaken Galvec. And that's not good. Good job, us. And now we get to fight the big dragon Galvec. How fun. Oh, yes, finally. That took like an hour and a half. I don't know what it was. It's just. My focus just wasn't there tonight. I was really struggling with that one, but that's the final fight done. Oh, time to go claim the rewards. Love this quest. Also, rest in peace, Bob. What a little champion. Also, look how little resources we had left. That, that's it. One dose of Super Store and two Shark. I was almost dead. And 
here we go. Dragon Slayer Part 2 finished. Any levels? Yeah, 71 smithing. Very nice. Oh, we can finally access the Myths Guild. What a, what a fantastic guild. There's so much to do here. Oh, thank you, Sergeant. So much to do here. Um, finishing that quest actually unlocked a buttload of content for us. A bunch of upgrades. Um, and Vorkath, one of the best money makers, consistent money makers in the game. Oh, just feels fantastic. It is such a fun quest to do. And here we can actually buy the Myths Cape. Very useful cape. Really good teleport to the Myths Guild. Also some crush bonus and melee strength. Pretty good. Pretty good. And we can also claim a bunch of experience lamps off Ellen. Uh, uh, put them in strength, I guess. We can get, claim four lamps in total. And I believe that got us to level. Oh, there's a dog to pat. This is an amazing guild. Um, so next thing we're going to do isn't actually going to be Vorkath. Before we do that, I want to get a few more range upgrades. So I want to swap out the Archer's Helm for a um, Missouri face mask. I want to unlock uh, Rigor. So I need to get 74 prayer and buy that. I'd also like to get a Bandos Godsword to spec down uh, Vorkast Defense, so we need to get 75 attack. Planning on doing the uh, prayer through Insult Head, so we should get the attack through that. Very nice. Well, this is where we're going to be spending some time just reanimating some Demon Heads. Um, we need to do about 240. Um, pretty close to the attack level we need for the Bandos Godsword. Um, I do already have the BGS and the uh, Dexterous Press Scroll for Rigor. I already have those bought at about 60 mil in liquid cash, so... Uh, money's not really a problem at the moment, which is quite nice. The uh, hope runs certainly pay enough. So I'll just knock this out real quick. Shouldn't take too long at all. And 75 attack. That took quite a bit of time, to be honest. This place is a very boring. And with that 74 prayer, we can now use our... Oh, level 8, 97 combat. Very nice. We can use our Dexterous Pear Skull. It's the the singular most expensive thing we've bought on the account. Almost 30 mil, which, I mean, isn't too bad, but... It's well worth it. Rigor is fantastic. Um, almost ready for Volcath now. Just want to go supply and want to grab myself a Missouri mask. So I might need to sell some stuff off for that. Lovely. Alrighty, so I'm going to sell off my battle stuff stack. Been collecting it for a while again. Um, Missouri mask. Uh, it's not huge stuff. Um, it's a pretty big upgrade from the uh, Arch Selmans. Uh, one of the best helmets in the game currently. Um, I could use a Serpentine Visage. Uh, I think I'll just prefer having the... Oh God, how do you spell it? I think I just prefer having the um, extra damage and being using and use the uh, Institute Plus Pluses instead of uh, having the guaranteed not being venomed. So that's the setup we're going with. It's also crazy cheap at the moment. Well, here we are finally at Vorkath. Uh, this is our setup. Uh, don't have the void. Don't really want to grind it out if we're only going to go for 100 kills. Got a bit of a melee swap just to BGS him down, get the Lord Defense right at the start. Um, I put it up with attack and strength before we started. Uh, we should be good. I'm uh, just going to hop right into it. Fingers crossed. Yeah. We should be right. Good luck us. Uh, that's the first kill done. I really wasn't too bad. I did die once already. Uh, oh, look at that loot. Dearie me. Um, I did die once already just because I messed up the acid phase. But you know what? That's all part of uh, learning something, right? Um, what's this looking like? What? what? Oh, 55k. That's not too bad. Uh, I think that was also one of the worst loots you can get. Diamonds and grapes. Very nice. There we go, second kill. A little bit rougher on the food. I'm trying to kind of learn Luke's, Luke's walk. Oh, that's a pretty good loot too. Oh, delicious. Alrighty, I'm actually starting to understand the Luke's walking. It's uh, pretty easy once you get the hang of it. It's just me trying to get the hang of it. That first kill was still a person best by quite a lot. Very nice. So I forgot how many I got this, but there's kill 10. And then next on kill 11, we get a walk out set. That's quite lucky. There's a guaranteed one on kill 50. We're getting nice and early. That's quite nice. Um, so with the head, I believe next clip, we take to Ava, we need 75 Mithril Arrows, uh, and you head it in for the Ava's Assembler, which is actually the best in slot range cape in the game. Uh, it's just a little bit of extra defense and some range strength. Very nice. And here I believe I'm talking about the uh, quite nice loot that we got. So we got the Onyx Bolts and the Magic Logs. Um, 150k. Quite nice. Look at how many supplies are left after that kill. That was incredible. Also, didn't realize my recorder wasn't on for a few of those previous clips, so that's quite fun. Hey, got a new personal best. I knocked it off by, I think, four seconds. It's quite nice. Oh, a one minute 55 and dragon plate legs. What a quality kill. I just missed kill 20. It was a pretty scuffed kill, not gonna lie. We were basically out of food and prayer. It happens still sometimes. Still, you know, loading bosses, only 20 kills after all. And there we go. There's another personal best. Uh, ignore how much health we and prayer we had left. Um, still plenty of supplies, but I figured I could do it in time, which 
Probably wasn't a great idea racing, you know, the damage from Vorkath, but we did it anyway! Got ourselves a second Vorkath head at 25. Oh, I also missed kill 30. Ah, it happens. So this is a bit embarrassing, but it turns out for quite a while now I've been recording your own screen region. Don't ask me how. It happens. I, 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 I've got nothing. Um, so we did pass kill 82 now. I think last time I recorded I was around kill 40. We've got our personal best down to 152, which is quite nice. Um, there's not much to say really. We've got no fancy drops. We've got the guaranteed head on kill 50. We're just being chuffing along, you know. Being, you know, gotten pretty good at the Wigs walk. I don't know, not much else to say, really. How embarrassing. Look at the supplies left. This is nutty. I used two pieces of food. Good job, me. Well, there you go. That's a little awkward. I just did a whole kill without using a single piece of food. Now I'm going to need to drop a whole bunch of food. How awkward. I feel good about it, though. And that's kill 90. That's enough forecast for one night. Thank you very much. So I just want to take a minute to actually have a bit of a chat about forecast. Um, I did enjoy it for the most part, but there were just a few things that were, they were just not upsetting me. Well, they're not huge deals, but, you know, just want to have a chat about it. Um, so this first, this first being desperate pain fees, I think they're a bit steep at 100k. Um, I know with Zora, um, for the first 50 kills, there is no reclaim fee. Um, I'd like that for Warcraft, to be honest. It, I'm learning a new boss, you know, it's challenging content. I feel like I'm being overly punished for engaging with content and dying, you know, it happens. Um, as I said, it's not a huge deal. Um, another thing is, I don't like being GS specking. I get it. It's a dragon. It's tough. But unless you have a dragon hunter weapon, you kind of need to be GS specking. It just feels, I don't know, it feels kind of annoying. Um, the ranged attack just hitting through Paris so constantly. That sucked and it feels like there's not a whole lot you can do about it. But again, it's probably the mechanics, you know. It's something good at each or I did, did catch me a few times and it did kill me. But, you know, again, it's all part of learning. Um, the other thing I'd like to see changed is I'd like to be able to take, pay Torfin, or whatever his name is, the dude that collects your items um, at the boat. I'd like to pay him a fee so he can collect the loot of all cap drops. I think that would be cool. Um, instead of, you know, munching through half your food when you don't use any, just have the dude collect your items and collect it from the dock. I think that will be cool. Aside from that, you know, the Vorkath was pretty fun. Um, I'm definitely not going back till I get probably Dragon Hunter Lance or Crossbow or something. I just don't doubt it. You know, the kills are taking like two minutes each. I was only doing one kill per inventory. And banking, you know, in total took like 45 minutes. So, fun experience. Not going to do it for a while. Lovely. Whoa. That was a very fast kill. 147. I'm very impressed with that. There we go. Another zero supply kill done. Or zero food kill done. Um, always a little bit awkward because you could either just drop or chomp through a bunch of food. Feels bad. And here we are. Kill 100. Thank god that's over. Not gonna lie. I'll start to get a bit fed up with Warcraft towards the end. Um, let's pop to the bank. We'll um, tally up how much we made. You know, deduct fees and whatnot for supplies. Very nice. Another boss down. Actually feels good to get that done though. Lovely. Something else we can do now that now that we've killed Warcath is we can trim our topiaries into the shape of him. There we go. How cute. It's not smaller than I thought it would be. It's kind of gross. Oh, well. At least it's a trophy. Alrighty. So this is the uh, loot. Minus just a couple of uh, random things left in the bank. Just some bald heads and whatnot. It's not looking too bad. Um, I did miss one uh, drop because I died as I got the drop. Bit embarrassing, but it happens. Um, I really don't know what to make of this. Got a Good amount of onyx bolt heads. I got a little bit lucky on the scaly hides. That's a nice uh, recent addition. Um, there are one in ten, so we got a little bit over that. Um, yeah, the onyx drops are about one in three seventy. It looks like so we got pretty lucky on them. Um, nice amount of unfinished bolts. Uh, some good deaths and uh, chaos. I'm quite chuffed with the loot, so we're going to sell it off, resupply, see where we stand. Lovely. Alrighty, all resupplied. How much did we make? 4.5 mil. That's quite good, actually. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That's, what, 45k per kill? Um, not too bad. Now to subtract, subtract the death fees, it's 100k per... Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we died a few times. We died 38 times in total. Admittedly, a good chunk of those, probably over half, were in the first 10 kills. We're still learning. You know? It's part of the fun. Um, then there were just some silly deaths later on. But admittedly, for my first 100 kills, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm not going to be in a rush anytime soon to get back to Vorkath. I'm pretty burnt out on him, at least till I get some Dragon Slay weapons or, or just high stats in general, but I'm pretty happy with how we did that. Um, there's not much to say, really. Vorkath, the money printing dragon, his common jobs were just so consistent. Um, we didn't get any of the uniques, but that's fine. Um, what's that collection log look like? 
So we got one item in the collection log. We weren't going to get a pet, and the rares are very rare, and most of them not very valuable except for the skeletal visage. Um, so I said, pretty happy with that. Nice, some change came out of it. Adds to the bank value. Lovely jubbly. So don't mind this, I'm just knocking out Darkness of Palavel to complete the uh, Elite Clue Scroll that we got from Walker. Um, that's actually where we're going to leave the episode for today, champions. Um, thank you for watching. As always, take care. Bye.